Greetings, everyone. We have an exciting one for you today. Today, we are in San Francisco, California at the steepest street in San Francisco. We're at the corner of Bradford and Tompkins, and this is purported to be a 41% grade. So we're gonna try the green speed, our best climber, and see how it does, see if I can get up a 41% grade on my trike. Let's check it out. Today we're crossing the Bay Bridge into San Francisco in search of the steepest street in the city. San Francisco is known for its hills and there are many, many streets that would cause the uninitiated car traveler to be filled with trepidation and dread just looking at some of them. Joe backed out of a few of them when he craned his neck to the sky looking up towards the top and saying, um, I'm not going up there. But today, the hills meet a trike, and we're headed to the Bernal Heights area in South San Francisco to find the corner of Bradford and Tompkins, which according to the real top 10 list of steepest streets in San Francisco by 7x7, is the site of the hairiest of hairy, Bradford Street, which boasts a hair-raising 41% grade for a short period of road. Most of Bradford is an already taxing 24% grade, but towards the top, the real fun begins. Trikes are known to be great hill climbers because they have the ability to stop when the going gets tough so you can take a break. I'm going to be testing that reputation today. First, let's take a look at the gear we'll be using. I chose my Green Speed GTO for this challenge because it performed very well in our previous video when we took it up Bullfrog Gully. It's got a 20 inch rear wheel that isn't prone to slipping on steep hills. And most of all, it's got a roll off internally geared hub, which has the best climbing gears of all my trikes. The roll off gears are so low that I've never had to use the lowest gear, even in the bigger hills of my area. I'm hoping they'll make this challenge a breeze. Now to the engine, that's me. I usually take two rides a week, adding up to a total of approximately 80 miles and do a considerable amount of climbing, but the hills in my area top out around 16%, so I'm usually riding hills somewhere between, let's say, 13 and 16% grades. But my legs are fresh today, having sat in the car for the last hour driving down here, so hopefully I'm prepared. A good omen? Someone's thrown an old inner tube on the street sign on our corner. So here we are. One thing I found out fast was that when you're triking in San Francisco, you better keep a good hold of your trike. Hills are everywhere and trikes will quickly roll away if you don't hold on to them. I'm in my lowest gear. Here we go. It doesn't start at 41%, but it gets there. I'll let you know when it gets there. So far, so good. This is good, it's a nice little warm up. Here it comes. Good thing that was short, because I couldn't have done it much longer.
I wanted to take another crack at it and see if I could make it up the hill without stopping. The steepest part of the road is right after the manhole cover. I think you can see the road turning up at that point. Nope. Maybe third time's the charm? That's tough. Wahoo! Did it! Wow, that was steep! I've never tested the low gears on this Rollhoff hub before, but that really did it. Uh, still low enough for me to be able to get up the hill, but if that would have been a little longer, forget about it. I'm lucky it was just a short span of a 41% grade. Another few feet, I don't know. But I did it! Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.